As you can see, we're now back at the University of Applied Sciences in Aachen. Almost six weeks have passed, during which time our watch has been tested extensively. You should also recognize the person standing next to me. Robert Plante is here with me again. Hi, Robert. It's nice to see you again. Our watch has to meet extremely specific requirements in order to be awarded DIN 8330 certification. Before the DIN standard, there was the test stuff, which is the technical standard for all pilot watches. What's the difference? There are quite a few similarities between the test staff and DIN 8330. However, DIN 8330 goes a little bit further than test staff by guaranteeing the quality of the testing methods and, in particular, by reiterating and exploring the cockpit requirements in more detail and ensuring these requirements are met. In other words, with DIN 8330, the watch must meet even stricter requirements. Yes, exactly. And now it's time to learn whether our watch did just that. The thrilling days of testing are over, and now we're ready for the final verdict. I'm very excited. This is Professor Janza, who will reveal the results. Professor Janza, you're in charge of the pilot watch certification testing here at the University of Applied Sciences in Aachen. First of all, welcome. I'm glad you could join us today. Before we discover how our watch performed, would you like to say a few words about the standard? Well, as you said, the entire process is extremely exciting. At the same time, it's not an easy process. So here we are today, after the thrilling days you just mentioned. We at the University of Applied Sciences in Aachen are one of the largest aeronautics trainers for aeronautical engineers here in Germany. The Pilot Watch is not just a fashionable accessory, but a real timepiece that is used with other aviation equipment. And that's why this standard exists. The fact that the standard has become a DIN is definitely an honor for us as well, because it demonstrates just how important the standard is. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm very curious to see if we're taking the certificate home today. No need to keep you in suspense. The certificate is yours. This really is an exciting test. It is also a rigorous test. It's not at all random or casual. Instead, there are eight extreme exacting subtests that must be passed with success. By the way, LACO, with its pilot watch, passed the test with flying colors. No easy feat, and therefore a real distinction. There are only a few watch manufacturers who are willing to put their watches to this extremely ambitious test, which LACO has mastered with seeming ease. For us, it also meant putting in a lot of work to develop the test scenarios. And as I said, this wasn't done lightly. Congratulations are therefore in order to LACO for its success. Thank you very much. So so all the requirements were met. That makes us very, very proud. Can I have the certificate, Professor Janza? Yes, it's all yours. A real award. Yay! A successful pilot watch. You're welcome. Yes, thank you very much. I'm so happy. That's going straight in our office in Pforzheim. And that brings us to the end of our video. Thank you very, very much for watching. And thank you, Professor Janza, for accompanying us through this process. Goodbye. Until next time. Ich würde sagen, tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal.